Hello everyone, welcome to the Z-Stream, and this is the tutorial that you've all been waiting for. Okay, well not all of you, but a lot of you have been requesting this tutorial on how to make your own blocks in Minecraft. Okay, so, no dilly-dallying, let's get right into it. Um, I'm going to assume you've already set up MCP, if you haven't, go watch the uh, set up MCP tutorial on my channel somewhere, or I might put a link up. Anyway, um, yes, so this is how you create your own block. You're going to go into your Minecraft, into your source, and uh, you're going to, where all the classes are basically, and you're going to make a new uh, .java file. I'm going to use Edit Rocket. You can actually use Text Edit if you want. Just save it as .java at the end. Okay, so I'm going to go here. I'm going to set this to... Java. I'm gonna save the oh, blah blah blah, and I'm gonna save this as um, what should my block be called? Uh, Z block. Ha 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 ha. Dot Java. Okay. For some reason, even though I've set it to Java here, for some reason, Edit Rocket doesn't actually like add the dot Java uh, extension, and then it doesn't work for some reason. Okay. Now the next step is you're gonna go into this block template. I will. Uh, put this in the link somewhere, somehow. This is your basic template for a new block class, okay? So we're going to copy it, we're going to paste it in here. Um, and then, it's going to say, like, public class block new extends block and all that. So you're going to have to replace, first up here in public class, you're going to have to replace this with whatever you named the class. It has to be the same as this name up here. So I'm going to call it Z block extends block and then we're going to do public replace this block new with z block basically you have to replace all the everything that says block new you have to replace with z block okay and then here it says super block id you don't need to worry about that this and then you're going to say what material it's made out of so we'll say wood doesn't really matter and then block index and texture okay this determines what texture you want on the block um now how do you tell which texture, like it's just a number, right? So how do you tell which uh, number to put in for each texture? So what you're going to do is you're going to go into MCP again, um, get out of the source folder, and go into temp, okay? And then go into bin, Minecraft, and you get all this crazy stuff. And if you go into, there should be a file called terrain.png. I'm going to open up in Photoshop. And this is where all of the uh, the uh, the uh, the, uh, the textures are for blocks. I mean, um, the textures for items are in a different place, so don't worry about those yet. Anyway, these are all the default textures. Yay! Um, and so this is how you count it. This in the top left corner up here. This is w this is zero. This one. Here, this stone, the smooth stone is one, this dirt, two, grass, three, um, planks, four, and you get the idea. It goes zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way to uh, 15, I think. Sapling is 15, and then it starts over, over here, and this is 16, this is 17, uh, bedrock is 17, sand, 18, uh, gravel, 19. All right, and it just keeps going like that. So basically, it uh, the the columns increase by 15 and the rows increase by one if that makes any sense <clears throat> anyways it's not that complicated it's just you start at the top left corner at zero and then one two three four five six seven eight blah 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 going across the row and then you start over again at the left it's like reading left to right okay so if you want to add your own textures you have all this purple space to add your textures and you can you just have to count and put in the right number so for example for example I don't have my own texture right now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a box like this that's the right size and then I'm gonna move it over to this diamond ore and I'm gonna copy this diamond ore texture I'm gonna paste the diamond ore texture and I'm gonna put it in some I'm going to put it in this empty space over here. All right. 
And when you put in a texture, you should have the purple line here. The dark purple line should be on the bottom and the right. And that shows you that your texture is the right size. Um, yeah. Anyway, so we're going to save this again. Save as terrain.png. I want to replace the one that's already there. Save. Replace. Okay. Whatever. Now, we've changed the terrain. Speaking of which, we should count where that terrain that thing is. This is the one I added right here, the uh, diamond ore. So this starts at one, uh, zero. I mean, sorry. This is sixteen, I think. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, this is sixteen. Um, so basically, one, two. It's Two rows down, 2 times 15 is 30, so this is 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. So that texture is 38. So what you're going to do is you're going to go back to your block.java class, the one that you made, and you're going to say block index in texture at the top equals whatever number I just said, and I just forgot what the number is. I think it was 38 or something like that. Okay? But the problem is, so that will make all sides of your block the, the, that one texture. But what if you want different textures on each block? That is where this function comes in. It says public int get block texture from side int side. Okay. Um, and this is how you distinguish what textures to use on each side. So you add in here, if side w equals 1, you always have to put w equals, um, and then you return a number. So basically, um, side when side equals one, that means it's on the top, um, top of block. I'll add this to the template so it's clear for you guys. Um, so when side is one, it's the top of the block. Um, side is two, it's one of the sides. Um, anyway, just do some experimenting. Um, basically, there's six sides, right? So there should be. Uh, you should be able to change the texture for all six sides. I'll try that in a second after I prove that this works. So if side equals one, basically what this says is if it's if you're looking for the top texture, return 43, which is a different texture. I don't know which one, or else just return the regular texture, which means it'll ha it'll have the same texture on all sides except the top, um, which is all good. I don't know what 43 is. Doesn't really matter. And then here, if you keep going down the template that I have provided you, it'll say quantity dropped and then return some number and you just you put whatever number you want the block to drop after you've broken it um, here I've put 64 uh, just for jokes you can't put more than 64 because that's the maximum stack size unfortunately I'm pretty I think I think you can't put any more than 64 and then here public int ID drop this this function here determines what is dropped. So here it says it drops 64 and then here it'll say what 64. So if we say block.wood.blockid that'll mean it'll drop 64 wood. So let's say block dot uh, tnt dot block id save um, and that should be good.